Okay guys, we're going to continue on working on our little propane stove here. Uh, we're going to drill out some vent holes here. That's if I can get my drill to play nice. I could use a hand. You want to help? Okay guys, what I've done is I've drilled, or I've marked seven holes here an inch apart, and I've kind of made them over this way just a little bit because I'm going to have a slide, and I'm going to drill these holes out, and then I'm going to probably, we'll just see how it turns out, I mean if they, if they look big enough I may not, but if I have to then I'll take my angle grinder and I'll cut between the holes and I'll make a slice through here because eventually I want to be able to get my grate up above these holes so the air can go underneath the fire but but we'll just we'll just have to see you know this is just something I came up with and you know my head and just threw it together one day so let's go ahead and start drilling these Apparently my drill's not going to play nice, is it? Now these are just pilot holes. And then I'm going to step up a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to go up to this one. I think it's half inch. Uh, I don't know. I can't see the numbers. But I, I do believe this is a half inch. Uh, something like that. So let's continue on here. Now I'm going to do that three more times with three different size bits so let me do that I won't bore you with it because you know it's drilling so hang tight and I'll be right back with you okay we got these holes drilled out I couldn't uh, I couldn't use this big bit because the chuck in the drill is not big enough so what I'm going to do I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to slice these across here you know and make one big long hole there if I can get it straight I think I made my door too big I should have just about where this rib is right here hey, you guys can't see nothing About where this rib is right here is where I should have made my hole. And maybe not so big. I don't know. Trial and error. Uh, just trying something different. But anyway, let's uh, let's cut these out. Let's uh, let's plug this in first. All right. That don't look straight at all. Alright, I'm going to keep cutting. I'm not worried about that. I can straighten that up. It's no big deal. So I'm going to keep cutting this until I get this all out of here to where there's a solid slot across there. So there's our slot. It's not too bad. Uh... Like I said, I'm going to use a piece of stainless steel and I'm going to make a slide. It's going to slide back and forth like this to cover that up. So, that's going to be cool. Uh, I've started grinding on the top of this to try to make this flat. Like I said, I want the vent to be back here somewhere. 
you know, like back in here because I want to put like a, a flat piece of steel up here. But I'm going to go ahead and get this grinded off and these grinded down. And then we're going to build a fire in it and see if that vent helped in any. Okay guys, that's all I'm going to do with this today. I got some wet starting wood in there, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. We'll dump it in up there. A little bit of that alcohol to get it started. And then we'll throw some sticks in from the top. And then we'll put that little tiny stack over there on it. That's not going to be the stack for it, but it will work. Alright. For now. So, come on. You get nothing to work right. Alright. Let's get that going. And then, uh, hopefully it'll go. I got some paper in there, too. I got the, the wood lifted up a little bit, too, so. But, I just want to see if this is going to help it at all. And, uh, that's the driest stuff I can find laying around to start this fire with. So, I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's pretty wet. If I can get the paper to light or not. Man, these matches ain't worth the shit. I like the uh, Ohio blue tip matches. See that these things ain't and they were they were inside. They weren't in the garage to get damp or anything. Not that the garage does, but you know, whatever, right? But the Ohio blue tips, they're pretty good matches. Strike anywhere. So, and the paper's dry, of course. It's just some junk mail. Now, I'm going to be doing a video here real soon about uh, taking pulp, making pulp out of paper and water and letting it dry out. And I'm going to use a little PVC pipe to, uh, to make my molds so I can make little, uh, so I can make burning fuel for this thing. I think it'd be a great idea. What do you guys think? So let's get some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is dry because it wasn't laying on the ground. It was in still in the tree. So maybe we can get it to catch. I might leave that hole up there <laughs> for now. Okay, let's set this up here. Oh, wow. That got hot really quick. You guys see what that looks like up there? Nope. There's that little thing I just put on there. Well, it's, she's a burning. Let's go ahead and load her up, all right? Yeah, she's burning pretty good there in the back. So it won't take long. It'll. Yeah, it's already started up here in the front some too. So let's let that get started, and then we'll put uh, we'll put uh, we'll close that up. But see, it's not a very big hole on top, of course, because like I said, it's not the hole that the stack's going to be on. But Add some drier wood. Alright, All right, I'm gonna let that burn for a minute. I'll be back with you. And she's burning. That smoke that's coming out around here won't do that once I get it to where I can latch it and close it all the way. And that's gonna be kind of sealed off right there. So, but yeah, she's burning pretty good there. That's going to be cute when it's done, huh? Of course, I could make it to where I could cook inside that. I could make a grill to fit inside there and cook hamburgers and stuff inside it. 
once it burns down to coals if I want, if I want to keep the top like that is. I don't know, we'll just have to see. So, it's coming along. And like I said, that vent down there at the bottom, it will have a slide back and forth, so if it's, it starts burning too wildly or burning too much fuel or getting too hot, I can slide it over and it'll cover that vent up at the bottom and probably pretty much put it out. All right, guys, there's what we got so far. Uh, the next video we'll make, we'll make our handle for this, our little latch. We'll make sure we got that covered up and we'll make our little thing from down here, our little damper thing. So, but right now I'm pretty hot, so I'm gonna go in the house and cool down, edit this video. And I'll be back with you guys on the next episode of this here real soon. There it is. Like I said, that's not the original stack that's going to be on it. Although it would work fine if I'd open the hole up a little more on top. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000, BXX32. And of course me. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys. Take care. <laughs>